You guys have to play games, right? In January 2023, Americans started hearing reports of a familiar story. 29-year-old Memphis resident Tyree Nichols died in police custody, yet again calling attention to discussions around police reform. After reviewing video footage, the Memphis Police Department immediately fired five officers, all part of the MPD's Scorpion Unit, short for Street Crimes Operation to Restore Peace in Our Neighborhoods. But millions of U.S. citizens were left wondering why another traffic stop ended so tragically. According to a study from the Police Executive Research Forum, or PERF, some tragic outcomes result from aggressive policing tactics that permeate the culture at U.S. police academies. The culture of training somehow has gotten translated into barking orders and giving commands and, and sort of a, a military kind of thinking. It's not a problem-solving approach. It's not critical thinking. Compared to other developed nations, studies show that training in the U.S. police academies is in some cases drastically shorter. A 2018 Justice Department study of state and local law enforcement training academies found that the average length of core basic police training in the U.S. is 833 hours or less than 22 weeks. In comparison, police recruits in Japan get between 15 and 21 months of training, police in Germany get 2.5 years of training, and training in Finland takes three years to complete. But time spent training isn't the only differentiating factor, according to the PERF study. So in this country, traditionally the way the police are trained, when they see someone with a knife, is the first thing they do will to be pull out their gun and to bark orders. In the UK, when someone pulls out a knife, they don't have firearms. The first thing a person in the UK will say is, hold, hold on, let me, what's your name? As they're backing up, as they're getting distance from the person. PERF is pushing for new training tactics that have documented success. In 2019, researchers at the University of Cincinnati published a study on the impact of modern de-escalation training within the Louisville Metro Police Department in Kentucky. Researchers used the Integrated Communications Assessment and Tactics Program, or ICAT, developed by PERF. Over two days, ICAT trainers taught de-escalation tactics and critical thinking skills to a group of 62 officers, and the impact was judged to be considerable. After conducting a pre-training, post-training, and four-month follow-up survey, researchers found that LMPD officers who had participated in the brief training experienced a 28% reduction of use of force incidents and 36% fewer injuries than their peers who had not been given the training. In addition, there is a 26% reduction in injury to citizens with officers who had the training compared to officers who did not. It turns out that actually using a critical decision model, slowing things down, time and distance and communicating is not only safer for the person you're dealing with, but it's actually safer for police officers. Even though research showed that evolved de-escalation training is valuable for officers and citizens, often police budgets don't allocate significant funding for their training programs. A 2020 survey revealed that 71% of U.S. police agencies spend less than 5% of their budgets on recruit training. In Memphis specifically, the police department spent roughly $270 million in 2020, but only 15,500 went towards seminars, training, and education. Our training is outdated, antiquated, and it is trying to do on the cheap what other places have done in a comprehensive way. There has to be a national commitment to want to fundamentally to identify, train, and to compensate police at, at a level that makes them professionals. Until that's done, we're going to continue to see these kind of instances. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.